pairs of white and people of color applicants in these fine dining restaurants to see who would get hired. Uh, so there were white and people of color folks that looked, so we tried to make them look exactly as, as close to each other as we could. That city was one of the sectors. The city is tall, six foot African man is paired with a equally tall white man. And they had to spend time like mimicking each other and learning each other's personalities so that when they walked into the restaurant, there was absolutely no other factor that could emerge from why they were treated differently than their race. And of course, so many times the white man would walk into the restaurant and be hired on the spot and city would be pulled over and over again, we're not hiring now, we're not hiring now. And that happened over and over again. So the first coming out again ended up being a torn by different pairs, sticking with among them. But we also just went out to restaurants and counted how many white people were in the front and how many people of color were in the back. Well, I tell you this because it's part of the Jolita report in January, but also because um, now we've gone national. Now Like close to nation, and we say, you know, 
while we can think about sustainable and local food, let's talk about sustainable labor conditions because you're never ever going to have a sustainable food system. Thank you.